We are Danae and Bruce, and along with our daughter Freya, we have been living in the Middle East for the last eight years. We were feeling ready for a new adventure, and after going on a family holiday to Mauritius in early 2022, we fell in love with the island and decided to sell all of our belongings and start a new exciting chapter. So after saying goodbye to our home and packing all our possessions into a few suitcases, we boarded a plane and started this new journey. Join us as we learn what it means to live a slower pace of life and explore this beautiful island that we now call home. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We realized that there's quite a few people that don't know us very well, and we thought we would give you a little bit of insight on who we are. So my name is Danae, and I am 32 years old, and I was born and raised in the US, um, in New Jersey. And I am Bruce. Um, I am from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm 38 years old, and Danae and I met in Johannesburg in 2011. We fell in love. Um, I chased her across the world and visited her in the US a few times. Got married in 2013, mm -hmm. and um, have spent the last eight and a half years living in Dubai, working in Dubai, and um, growing a family, as you can hear. So that is a little bit of a backstory, obviously a very condensed version mm. of our last 12 years. Yeah. But we don't want to get too much into it because we wanted to talk a little bit more about our move to Mauritius, why we moved, the process of moving, the ups and downs of moving. Because mm. um, a lot of people who might be watching this video might be considering making a move, be it to Mauritius or somewhere else. And we thought it might be helpful to make a video about the process that we went through. So we're gonna ask a series of questions to each other and I'm gonna ask Bruce the first one. What do we do for work that enables us to live in Mauritius? So I have been in the creative world for a long time worked as a graphic designer and a videographer. I've done music and a whole bunch of other creative things and um, I've been able to bring that with me. Um, at the moment, I'm focusing mostly on video work and so I film and uh, edit videos uh, based here in Mauritius. So I'll fly to other countries to um, create videos and uh, work from home. And it's amazing, it enables me to spend a bit more time with my wife and my daughter. So. That's what I do. And then for me, I am a full-time stay-at-home mom. I've been so since Freya was born two and a half years ago, and I really, really do love it. I've always dreamt of being a mother, so it's very fulfilling for me to be home. But there is a creative side of me that wants to express itself, and that's something that I'm finding a lot of joy in creating these videos, so doing some YouTube content, um, it's amazing that we are now able to do that because before Bruce was working a nine to five job, sometimes working weekends, um, we just didn't have the time to do what we're doing now. We've never been able to do daily vlogs. Yeah, that's true. So um, that was one of the key reasons why we wanted to move was that we could have more time to be creative and spend as a family. Moving on to the next question though. So question number two is why Mauritius? Why did we choose Mauritius? So we came here on holiday in February of this year. It was a family holiday. Bruce's sister and her family live here. The rest of his family is in um, South Africa and they came over and we just had an amazing time. Mauritius really wasn't on our radar um, before, but after coming, we really fell in love with the place, the island, the uh, beauty of it. Um, and the slow pace of living. We had already been kind of feeling like we were looking for um, the next step in our lives. Uh, we had been feeling that like we wanted a new adventure. We wanted to kind of, um, you know, take that step of faith again, I guess. And so, you know, when we came to visit Mauritius, we both just felt like, wow, this could be something that we um, look into, see if it's possible. So we did. We looked into it and it turns out that they have um, sort of like a digital nomad scheme over here, which is great. Um, and so uh, we were able to um, come across here and work across here without having to, you know, get specific kinds of 
residency visas or anything, we could just come across as what they call premium tourists. Um, and so that's that was a big deciding factor for us. We didn't really have to worry too much about coming across here. We could come here, work, and live um, quite quite easily actually. Yeah. So and that was a big deciding. Getting yeah. to the next question without getting too much into it. How was the process with a tour, the premium tourist visa? Uh, it was it was pretty easy. Um, you basically uh, apply online and all you really need to do is prove that you have outside income so you can't work uh, for people in Mauritius, you can't work for companies and that kind of stuff here. Yeah? So if you can prove that you have outside income um, then, then they allow you to come and work here. So you fill out a whole application online and I think it took probably about two weeks um, for the for the visa process to go through and yeah when you arrive they stamp you in and they give you one year uh, as, a, as a tourist multiple entry visa so yeah and you can renew that yeah right? so at the end of every year if you want to stay for another year you can renew it and it's actually free the the visas are it's a free visa so we didn't even have to pay anything so yeah, yeah it was really great so the next question is what were some of the challenges that we faced uh, moving to a new country we sold everything. It was a, a lot of work. Um, it paid off, literally it paid off. With that, it took a lot of my focus off of Freya. And because Freya wasn't in, a, and hasn't been in a nursery or anything, she's with me all the time. I wasn't able to give her all that attention that she was used to getting. Um, anyways, that's me. I think that was the, the most challenging aspect of it. Um, and you? Uh, yeah, for me, I think it was it was very stressful. Um, I was kind of dealing with um, all of the kind of admin stuff related to to relocating. So obviously, there's a lot of things that need to get like wrapped up before you can leave. Um, and then on top of that was the the work. So I was picking up more video work before I left, um, so that I could bring that with me and edit over here as well as um, all the work that I was currently doing too. So I had kind of taken on quite a lot of work. Um, I think I should have taken some time to not do any work and just focus on the admin stuff, just focus on wrapping up all of our Dubai things mm -hmm. <laughs> and focus on, you know, what it looks like moving across here and the admin related to that. Yeah, Probably should have done that. Um, I we, think we yeah. were the most tired we've ever been in our yeah. entire lives. Yeah, it was super stressful. It was a very stressful thing. So if you are wanting to move to a new country, um, I would advise not working for the for the last few weeks. So that leads to the next question, which is what did we gain by moving to Mauritius? A value of ours as a family is definitely spending time together and um, spending time together outdoors and Mauritius is um, just such an amazing outdoor place. Looking at Freya, just like being able to go to the beach mm. nearly every single day, being outdoors, going on trails, um, it's just had such a positive effect on her. Also, mm. we saw the, I mean, the last month we were in Dubai, Bruce was so busy that I felt like we barely saw him. Yeah. And I could see the negative effect that it had on Freya. She wasn't yeah. having her full attention from me. She wasn't seeing dad often. Mm. Um, and now that she has both of us every day, she's just the happiest little bean there ever was. Wow, did you draw wow. something? Freya. That's beautiful. That's a very good drawing. Well done. Yeah. What colors did you use? two months that we've been living here we've had so much time together yeah um there's been days where bruce you know finishes up early and we feel like we have the entire day to mm. go to the beach to hang out to go on an adventure yeah now we have the kayaks we can go hiking it's just there's just so much more time to do those things that would have only been able to do on weekends and on weekends Bruce was usually really tired from working so much. Mm. So it's been amazing to have that time. What we're noticing now is that the days feel longer because we're doing more things in the day. It's not, you know, the same kind of thing every single day. There's some variation in our life and it's really given us also a lot of space to be more creative with things. It's given us um, a lot more time to focus on stuff that I just probably couldn't have focused on before, you know. And there's a lot of creative things that we want to pursue and, and um, you know, 
push into and so this has given us an opportunity to dream about those things which is which is really awesome this isn't just like okay well we've made it here and that's it like yeah. there's so much more for us yeah. um, but if you're thinking oh, man how can i make this work for me i also want this what would your advice be for that for them? i think um there's two parts to it the first part is that there's always going to be an element of risk it's not it's not going to be easy um, you will have to risk you know in a certain way uh, for us we risked a little bit of fear of the unknown and fear of losing a bit of security and that's fine um, so you know i would say don't be afraid of that don't be afraid of taking a bit of risk but then the other part of that is you do need to to think what does it look like for me either as an individual or for our family we had taken a few steps to get ourselves to a point where we could move um, and eliminate some of the boundaries that would prevent us from moving so the first thing we did was we got rid of all of our debt and we made you know sort of financial decisions that weren't going to hinder us um, we could have continued to add to our lives but we we decided to rather stay where we were and sort of simplify a little bit so that we didn't take on any burdens that were going to be difficult to to move through so we had been speaking about it we had looked into other options um, before we decided on mauritius and so we were at a place where we 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 had saved a bit of money we didn't have any debt um, and you know we had looked at how do we provide for ourselves as a family what would we do so we we had answered a lot of those questions before we left so i would advise knowing what it is that you want and figuring out even simple things like what would our budget be like what would it cost for us to move across airline tickets you know uh, rent in another place all that kind of stuff and then figure out okay cool well, how do we do that kind of have that plan ready to go so that when you do make that decision you can kind of hit hit play in a sense yeah. and it'll unfold along, yeah along with you we've just been dreaming a lot as mm. a couple so i would say if you like man i want this but i don't even know what i want just dream. There's yeah. things that we've dreamed that we haven't come true yet. I don't know if they ever will, but yeah. it's just dreaming um, and, you know, then taking those steps and making a plan. Yeah, so if you have enjoyed this video, if this has, um, you know, been insightful for you, maybe you've been thinking about moving, thinking about taking a, a, a new step towards something, a dream, a new location, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. Yeah, um, and if you have more questions that's something we didn't touch on, yeah. feel free to comment below and we'll try to get back to you. Yeah. All right, guys, I think we're gonna end it here. Mm -hmm. We have to do bath time and bedtime. So we'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.